You're gonna address the camera. Are you ready? Are you are you ready to leave? <laughs> Bye, David. I love you. Oh, I don't see you. Like it? Oh no, no. It's like every MRL comes back. Looks good? Oh, wait. Oh, I like that one. Just give your second heart and also a face. Do you know that some guy, just, the guy who was leaving, just gave me $20 for being an artist? Yes, he did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, congratulations, Jamie. <laughs> You're now a professional. You're now an artist. You're welcome. <laughs> At least this is You're now welcome. I'm now a witness of professional <laughs> theater, Jamie. I was given a free beer and $20. Good. You, you guys oh. are going home. Yeah. I might as well hurry All right, that's it, folks. Get your shakers. 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 Get your we're gathered here on this special day to commemorate birth and death in art. And ping pong. And ping pong. Uh, thank you to whoever actually, I think it's just Charles and Nick. Thank you both for specifically coming out to this after I've invited you to it. Yeah. The rest of you, thank you for being here. Thank you, Facebook. You're welcome, Facebook. Uh, we're, we're here now to read to you Poetry that generally centers around experimental forms, and I think it could be pretty explosive. I'm not wrong. I, I have not performed at Oberon's before, and I probably almost certainly won't again in my life because I'm about to move. But I feel very good about reading poetry that was constructed from news websites and somebody's Zanga blog as well as introduce to like four or five people excellent, excellent, excellent poetry from people who you'll probably never hear of. Great, great songwriter. Great songwriter. Uh, and I think I'm going to start it off here. We're going to have three other readers. Then my God. <laughs> Honestly, true. Oh, you yeah. man. Good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you, too. How's it going, Jordan? Good. Okay, so to start off with two pieces, then I'll usher in a great number of men who will also read pieces. My first piece is called Patrick. Maria, do you know? Patrick. There will be no rose ceremony for a 430 pound bachelor gorilla that failed to form any meaningful relationships with fellow apes during an 18 year stay at the Dallas Zoo. Patrick, a western lowland gorilla born at New York's Bronx Zoo in 1990, will be moved out of the Dallas Zoo to the Riverbank Zoo and Garden in Columbia, South Carolina for a more solitary existence. Patrick's response to female gorillas ranged from indifference to aggression when he was paired up with females to breed, he instead bit one and nipped at others. It is hoped that his new bachelor pad at the resort, known for helping primates with behavior problems, will bring out his softer side. Patrick had only one male pal, Jabari, but he was shot dead in 2004 after escaping and injuring three people. After the incident, Patrick was forced to spend his time alone in his enclosure. <laughs> it's rare that he will look right into a camera and smile for a sustained length of time, said Dr. Lynn Kramer, head veterinarian at the Dallas Zoo. It's not like we haven't this woman, Lori Holloway, told Reuters. He's beautiful and smart, and everyone loves him. We're really sad to see him go. But it's for the best for the zoo and for Patrick, she added. Officials say the time has come for him to move on. Most days, I will ask him, what did you do yesterday? He will sign, 
wrong, wrong. I'll sign, what's wrong? He'll sign, wrong, wrong, again, one official said, adding, Patrick has always just been kind of a loner. <laughs> it was originally expected that Patrick would mate with one of the other females when he first selected one via a video dating process, Patrick's caretaker said. <laughs> However, while he did not exhibit aggressive behavior, they did not mate, possibly due to the absence of a natural gorilla group structure, multiple females associated with the western lowland male. The female gorilla communicated to us that she would welcome a small women's support group, which could lead to the birth of a gorilla baby, her dearest wish, and apparently Patrick's least concern. We can't be sure what he's thinking or feeling just by looking at him, said Dr. Kramer. She added, we, we have to ask or wait for him to tell us. However, it's become clear that he prefers to live a solitary life. He doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination and handles them as such. When reached for comment, Patrick signed red, and then signed sleep, and did two somersaults in his enclosure. <laughs> My next piece is called Love and Life 2, The Prophecy of the Magi. <laughs> hey, it's been like forever since I updated. Like holy dang. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, anyways. Yeah, me and Dustin broke up. But yeah, now I'm going with Curtis. Anyways. Yeah, I'm really bored. I'm talking to Curtis on the phone. Fun stuff. He says there's like someone outside his window. Scary. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, I'm so bored. Bye. Bart <laughs> Mercedes. Currently listening. How to save a life. By the fray. See you later. Hey, um, yeah, I went to Burger King Friday night and I saw Luke, Keith, Connor, and Robbie. It was funny. LOL. God damn. I want to cry right now and I don't know why. I think I'm losing my mind or something. Heather thinks I'm in love, but I don't think so. Haha. <laughs> Currently listening. How to save a life. By the fray. See you later. Okay. I'm done with all this Curtis shit. I'm done with all of the bullshit. I'm not going to get anywhere because he doesn't like me anymore. According to Curtis. Um, OMG. I have a headache from hell right now. Anyway, back to me. Um, <laughs> I can't think of anymore right now, so yeah. Currently no. listening. Cable cars over my head Jeez. by the fray. <laughs> See you later. Hey, I still don't know anything about this Alex situation, except I can't get him out of my head, and I can't stop thinking about him. And I'm not on probation. My mom told me I was, so yeah. Here's some more quotes and icons. Heart me, frown. <laughs> Currently listening. How to save a life by the fray. See you related. Meet me in the crib. It's going down. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. So what up, homie? Okay, bye. <laughs> Currently listening. Float on by Modest Mouse. See related. Awesome. I'm going out with Alex now. Yay. When he asked me out, I like couldn't say anything. I like tried to say yes, but it didn't come out. So I like shook my head yes. LOL, what a loser. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Did I mention I'm bored? Hey, 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 I'm so bored, OMG. Call me, 270-2439. Megan, you're a skankaphobe. <laughs> OMG, I'm so bored. Well, I'm like really hyper, but I'm really bored. Currently re listening, The Reason, by Hoobastank. <laughs> See you later. OMG, my life like sucks right now. Well, my mom found out about Alex, so I'm grounded till the end of the school year. I talked to Alex forever last night, but it was fun. Anyways, never apologize for saying what you feel, because that's like saying sorry for being real. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go. TTYL, bye.
currently listening, <laughs> Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. See you later. LOL. Anyways, Lacey is pissed at me now. She says that I've changed and I'm not fun to hang out with anymore because I'm always talking about Alex. But yeah, maybe she should give me a chance. I like hanging out with her and she never wants to. I can't be any fun if I'm never with her. I cried like all lunch period. And then Tanner told me that he called me a fag in health and I was like, OMG. So fucking pissed. Ugh, I'm so pissed. And yeah, I'm gonna go now. Currently listening. You're beautiful, it's true. By James Blunt. See you related. At lunch, Tanner told me that Alex was breaking up with me. <laughs> and when I asked Tanner why, and he went and asked Alex, he said that Alex said, because I was a crappy GF. I don't even know what I did. Then I started thinking about spinsters. And when he asked me out, and the holding hands, and the talking in the car, and it just made me cry even more. And I heard Jackie hates me. What else could go wrong? <laughs> Currently listening, cable cars over my head by the fray. See related. OMG. Yeah, my mom like hates me and so does my dad. That's not normal. <laughs> so yeah, it's been like two weeks now since we broke up. And we still haven't talked. And I'm still not over it. <laughs> it's not even cold and I'm like freezing. <laughs> the sad song just came on and now I'm like crying. Mm -hmm. OMG, fucking A. I hate this. Currently re listening. The reason by Hoobastank. See you later. <laughs> Romance is the glamour that turns the dust of everyday life into a glittery haze. <laughs> it takes someone special to make the ordinary moments something to remember. You are my past. So let's repeat history. Right. Heart. You said forever you would never let me go. Now I am here again with nothing left inside. I don't want to, but I got to let you go. Side by side, miles apart, dear friends are always closer at heart. Maybe I laugh to cover up the tears and my precious smile is just to hide my fears. <laughs> I want to be that girl he's scared to lose. The one where he can't walk away from. Her. Knowing she's angry at him. The one he wouldn't know what to do without. I'm really bored. <laughs> Currently listening. Photographed by Nickelback. See related. Hey! I decided to get a new Zanga thingy. Because my other one was gay, so yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to write, so I guess I'll TTYL. Peace, homie. You fucking donut. You fucking cookie. Fuck you. Haha, <laughs> I'm so retarded. Love Mercedes. Currently listening. Banana Pancakes by Jack Johnson. See related. Hey, tomorrow is the last day of school. Yay, yay! But I'm sad too. I'm gonna miss everybody so much. Alex, too. We're talking again, which is good. And I still like him, but I DK. Well, anyways, I hate decisions. I always make the wrong one. Grr. It makes me mad. <laughs> well, okay, I'm done. So, I'll talk to you later. Don't know what else to write. Love you, donuts. Heart, always heart. Mercedes. Currently listening, Kryptonite, by Three Doors Down. See you related. Thank you very much. Flown out from Washington, from Holman, Washington, just to spend time with me and also other people. Uh, his father's an alcoholic, left him when he was really early on in his life. His mother, if I'm not wrong, was on sleeping pills when she was pregnant with him and makes really poor financial decisions. And the product of them having sex. The gestation period of nine and a half months. I'd like to welcome Nathan Staplegun to the stage. <laughs> Nathan Staplegun, everybody, again. Yeah.
Love you. Hi guys. Got some poetry for you. I'm a pretty prolific poet, and I'm still alive. That's pretty impressive. Poem number one. Criterion flash sale list. Pearls of check wave, $35. Poem number two. Disease is beautiful. Integrity shrouds gret stems from the roots. Stories floating around, trash in the wind. Airport blueprint clues, hanging cord, screaming inside like a lynch petal stomper flower. Put meat in your body, casual shakedown hug from a stranger by an ATM, boring lighters. Losing what's in my hands, nothing is depression, depressing and extremes with Mad Max blaring on a flat screen TV. Break room dish washing pink flower thread covering nipples. Snack stun mix pipes in a room next to each other. Confronting feedback talk consulting mystic tangibles. By a mountain transient computer screen. French fry digestion. Constructed hype. Debt sequel steel in boxes and a couch dream dust. Luggage dreamscapes of delusion. I can help, I can help. Here again in a rare moment of pleasant moments of tranquility, mixed with old school ideas and faded cliche tattoos. Check this out. Oh, God. Um, thanks. Um, I can help, I can help. Mixed with old school ideas, faded cliche tattoos, where they play new wave renditions of Shakespeare classics. <laughs> New tire smell brings me back to the used car dealerships of Midwest Ohio, blood in a brain, illusion <laughs> trilogy supreme. I mean, I don't even like taco salads, vegetarian diet time. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah! Burning flags in its cemetery, so cold, so intelligent. You just put the paint in your mouth, spit it out, clap, clap, clapping, twerking, like 1920 flapping, sexual stereotype, yes. generational gap, typing for an overstimulated zeitgeist who loves the smell of dollar signs ending to eternity. Talk to him about Chuck E. Cheese. Apparently those are on the West Coast too. Working overtime for gonzo cultural reasons and laughs. When I was listening to myself talk, it sounded like listening to makeup. <laughs> Fabricated, superficial style filled with dirt. Garden planting fresh new philosophies that burnt faster than a paperback of the Republic. Texting me about their mom looking at my work being silent. Paranoia mixed with sublime inside weather changes. Inside Hollywood clubs and Netflix streaming cliches. Palm trees being climbed by masked leather locklears, fucking carbon dioxide with a coconut condom inside. Ego view judgment calls, just kidding bro. Getting down with it, caffeine in Seattle clouds through flesh. That's that goal. Well Thank you. Alright, um, hours go by, I didn't watch the sun go down and I usually don't in any sense. Night is today as his language is to the beat of a ray of light seeping in my nose, ear, orifice, what you will, won't. Poem. Next one. This is just my van. Really? This is fucking amazing. Yeah, it's kind of messy. No, but really. This is fantastic. Sitting inside psychological associations of cheese stuff screams, like I've said before, why did you buy so much beer? Don't worry. Drink it as fast as possible. <laughs> Going to pick up soon, you know what I mean. Reflections in a Kmart mirror, ticking the time away, cold feet. Underwear from yesterday, $14 bar tab. I have to watch Sports Center now. Spill the beer on my limited edition hardcover of The Hobbit. My heart will beat the same. Almost crying looking in my eyes, almost crying in his eyes, same height. Amazon.com taught me more than college did, whoever that person was. <laughs> Castration mind sight, moving faster, rain stained feet, meet me in the rain again. That's that poem. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I'm feeling it. Yay! Right. Thank you. No.
me. Ne next poem. Okay, this one's uh, a little different. Not as, uh, you know, you know. Uh, poem. I talked to my father tonight on the phone and explained to him that I pretty much live in the middle of nowhere and I'm starting an art commune or something. And then he told me about cars and how he, quote, fucked everyone and how fucked everyone is. And I just said, I know. That's why I moved to the middle of nowhere. He also told me about jury duty that he had to do. I told him that I'm working on writing a book. Then he told me more about the past. I told him about how kids my age get degrees and move back in with their parents and are apathetic. He said times are fucked up. I said, yep. <laughs> told him I watched four apartment buildings burn down in front of my eyes last night. It looked like a volcano. Like I was in the movie Apocalypse Now or some other YouTube shit. He told me how he, quote, low-balled a car from somebody for $700 and his brother's in jail for five more years for stealing money from the entire family by taking out loans and other people's social security numbers for a Ponzi scheme. I started inhaling some marijuana as he was talking and he kept reminding about how he was more hardworking, more intelligent, and not insane like my mother. I was staring at myself in the bathroom listening to him talk on the cellular piece of shit from Verizon about money and quote pieces of shit and how he earned his money. I was just thinking about the houses burning down in front of me. Yeah. 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 back home in our apathy. All right, here's another book apathy. For you. Nothing sounds better to me than what's going than, than what's going inside the womb and dancing. To my favorite sitcom theme songs over and over, it makes me feel like I'm being loved slash hugged or kissed. <laughs> anyway, last time that I watched that movie, I swore there was a bat in her pants. I don't know. I can't exactly accurately portray this to you or why I thought this. A spider kisses my side spin lumbar. Tickling medicine mandate launches all streams of consciousness to flow out. I have scoliosis. It hurts really bad. Uh, <laughs> Allen Ginsberg figured this out before, people. My memory was programmed by Google. I am a replicant. I have four years to live unless a Blade Runner retires me like Decker. This is how I feel. The world is post-apocalyptic, I can tell you this. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing. My manifesto, I've already written it here. It's a little, it's on the internet. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you know the status of art right now, but art is dead. I'm already dead. I feel so alive when I'm so dead. This is my how. I feel so alive when I'm dead, lol. I can't say anything new. It's been said before. Reach down to the realms of your psyche. Paint it out. Spill vomit over canvas. Make it bleed. <laughs> That's the end of that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get it. Yeah, Nate. All right. I have one last poem for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. Welcome. All right. I wrote this one on the way over here. I remember my favorite literature when I was growing up was the Choose Your Own Adventure Goosebumps. I could skip the story and get to the end to finish my king size snicker bar. Listening to music, watching it make people cry, I want to sleep for weeks. Distinguishing sexist apes from myself, I want to pass by empty rusty school buses in cold December in Springfield, Ohio. Getting colds in frozen cornfields looking for orange tabby cats. I held her hands, which felt like brittle toothpick bones, covered by smooth, soft leather. Endless revision of dark storms passing my sight to dust. 6 a.m. school bus trips were the best education I ever got. Screaming at the big green leather chairs, I watched kids repeatedly slam their heads into for fun. I had a portable CD player and a live Nirvana CD I listened to every day. Failed Algebra 2 class with an F minus and told her my na name was Kellogg's Crispy. <laughs> I showed my dick to a theater of 200 people in Santa Monica. It's so nice to breathe here with you. Buy me a drink. I can spit puke syllables all night and then I will sell them to you on eBay. I'm serious. I have business <laughs> cards. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. I gotta oh, yeah. find my business oh, yeah. cards here. 
Where are they? Hey, hold on. Just oh, pose. run, run for the pants, I that Here, business cards, business cards. No, Art's dead. I already said that. Uh, <laughs> I'll sell them to you on eBay. I'm serious. I have business cards. Tell me how much you puke. Let's dance together. Dance in my spiral. I want to bathe with you and die. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I feel like I should ask for another round of applause. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. All the support is for the best. Trash and no star. For the death. All the support is for the death. Uh, we have another reader for you. And then one after that one. Paul? And that's good, I think. I hope. Our next reader was born in Gold Beach, Oregon. Boo. <laughs> Probably fell out of his mother on a sand dune somewhere, and I feel like I feel like he should go back there when he does. Crawl into a sand dune. Yeah. Wait, shovel himself out of the sand dune. Just actually, wave yourself in there. Actually, there, there's a, there's a huge divot in that sand dune. It's my first mark. Really? Yeah. Do you have a handprint in it? I have a handprint in it. The handprint in the sand dune. Is that the name of your fucking first novel? No, the name of my first novel is, is Sandy Placenta. The name of your first novel is Jesse Eels Adams, everybody! Yes! Hey, it's okay. Uh, no. Freebird. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Freebird. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to play Freebird for you. I'm going to read uh, this Words. one later. Now watch me, guys. Watch Words. me, folks. Trust me. Ladies no, me trust me and then watch me. Give, give us some trust. Words. Words are going to be coming. Being trusted. Where's Kurt? Being trusted. Oh. All right. This is really good. I'm so excited to be here. This is fantastic. Are you excited to be here? Are you even up? First time I came to Oberon's, I had an expired interim ID and they wouldn't let me order anything. Now that I have a real interim card. God! So the first thing I'm going to read is a show an over-the-shoulder shot of James Lipton being hunted by a pack of wolves. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles, I wrote this when I was filming at RVTV. I was on the camera. Yeah! Alright, James Lipton's two-engine plane careens into the Yukon wilderness. Engine one Lake Doyle and spewed spew jet fuel out onto the sure. wing. James Lipton's legs got caught between the seat and the pull-down tray. Upon collision, he was ejected into fresh powder. Both legs were dislocated at the hip. James Lipton's mind felt no immediate pain as the more complex parts of his brain shut down. Blood was ordered away from extremities and the surface of his body to ensure the operation of his vital organs. James Lipton dragged his body away from the wreckage. There was a pool of burning oil on his inner left thigh. The flame was invisible. He was blinded by the albedo of the fresh powder. James looked and groaned. Filth coming out of his mouth. He crawled underneath the tree. Consciousness began to return, bringing about the awareness of crippling pain. He bellowed into the vast expanse. Listen now. James looked his body was ripped into by the unforgiving teeth of the pack of wolves who claimed the territory. Wait a minute. The dogs fought over the warm inner flesh of, uh, flesh of James Lipton. They left the most vital organs for last, keeping James Lipton alive as long as possible. There is no rational reasons why the animals would do this. James Lipton crawled in pain <laughs> in tandem with the howling of the indigenous hunters. The hunters ensured that nothing unnatural or overrepresented would remain in the area to ensure the balance of the delicate ecosystem. <laughs> the smoking wreckage would thereon become a congregational point for the pack, easily discernible by the lingering stench of oil and decay. James Lipton's bones were unceremoniously scattered by the irreverent hunters. His blood stained the fresh powder until it was covered by new powder. Inside the actor's studio broadcasted a memorial for James Lipton. This next poem is called Your Penis Is Not Going To- Hey! 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 hey. No, this is a good poem. Right now, together. This next poem is, is called <laughs> your, right. penis, your Penis Is Not Going to Develop Until You Are 16. Sure. It's one of my uh, favorites. I'd rather not hear this one. Now listen. Can I get it? Just wait a minute. Now. Your penis is not going to develop until you are 16. Too many dogs is when the dogs are not receiving sufficient care and attention. For me, I know that too many is. Colon, when someone's toenails don't get cut, when I say, boy, you need grooming. 
and I find myself not getting it done. When I realize that someone's training is lagging or that I'm slacking. When I have more dogs than I can reasonably support all by myself. If something awful happened and my partner died or we broke up, I'm driving myself crazy. Please help! Please help me, I'm driving myself crazy. I'm driving myself crazy. I just don't know what to do. Why do I drive myself crazy thinking about an ex? To get back, your ex must have patience and power. <laughs> when I had my first breakup, I was so much hurt. But just after a couple of weeks, I get admission into junior college. It's normal to feel that way to wonder about your no longer special someone. Okay, I haven't slept a full night since Mikey was born. Maybe the counting slash reasoning part of my brain is dead now. Mikey will be 12 months on his actual birthday, entering his 13th month of life. He should age a month on the same day. Like William was born on October 18th, so every 18th of the month, he's a new month. <laughs> so November 18th was his one month. Regardless of how many weeks are on each individual month, there are only 12 months in the year. So when he reaches his first birthday, he will have completed 12 months of his life and will be one year or 12 months old. <laughs> There's only one month that has four weeks, 20 days. So dividing 52 by four is irrelevant. Why am I driving myself crazy over guy? <laughs> I don't know how old you are, but it sounds like you've been swept off your feet. Just be careful not to dive in fully. Am I crazy? <laughs> Well, I sort of think this could be OCD, like my parents think it is. But I also feel it may have something to do with me being theory. <laughs> <laughs> I have a wolf spirit named Winter. She guides me through life, and hopefully, someday, I will shapeshift. <laughs> I am 13 years old now, and found out about all this when I was around 11. Well... <laughs> It has been going on for nearly a year now, and it's been getting even more and more active each day. Is this real? Am I just crazy? I am sort of a werewolf, but I am more of a Therian. Winter, so <laughs> Winter sometimes tries to protect me, but Oscar and Robbie's forces are so strong it is almost impossible. This is just so strange. It's like a voice, but if I cover my ears, it almost just gets louder. What exactly is this? Therianthropy <laughs> refers to the metamorphosis of humans into animals. Citation. Therianthropes are said to change forms via shapeshifting. Oh, yeah. Hey! Wait a minute. The hey. idea of being descendants from wolves has been part of Turkic shamanistic beliefs. Do not shapeshift, but possess combined dog and human anatomical features. I feel like I am a wolf trapped in a human body. <laughs> <laughs> am I a wolf trapped in a human body? <laughs> a little bit about myself. I am 15 years old. I love the dark. It makes me feel safe. Dogs love me. They feel comforted by me. When I see the moon, all I want to do is howl. I actually went to the top of a high hill nearby just to howl my heart out without people hearing. And when I cannot howl, I feel really sad. I look people directly in the eye. No. And they look away first. Ooh. I love to run at night. I sleep on top of a duvet covered in a weird ball slash sheep. I find the floor to be comfy to sleep on. I can sleep almost anywhere. I bite people softly on the neck and other places when I need comfort. I bite hard. I can make them bleed easily. And that's limit people. Thanks, old ones. I lick people a lot. Sometimes without meaning to. If they get near my face, it's a reflex. When taken by surprise, I make a sharp yip slash bark noise. I feel excited and different on a full moon. I have no need to keep track of the lunar cycle anymore because I can just feel it in my gut when there's a full moon. I'm an atheist, but I sort of believe in reincarnation a little. I do a lot of reading and research. My eyes change color according to my mood. Dark brown equals miserable or indifferent. Light brown equals average. Hazel, don't get this much. Not sure what it means. Golden equals very happy. I get this a lot. <laughs> Am I a werewolf? Or maybe even just part wolf? I think I'm a werewolf, or even just part wolf. I love the night, especially the moon. I would much rather sleep during the day. I love meat and blood. I wake up feeling real hungry and longing for blood. I sleep curled up like a dog. When I, when I try to force myself to sleep normally, I wake up sleeping curled up like a dog. My teeth and fingernails don't look sharp, but I have accidentally made myself and others bleed using them without trying to replace flesh of pressure. And if you do become a werewolf, I will think you're awesome. I'm a source for myself personally. Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Now trust me. Uh, trust it. That's yeah. my Homeric Flarf poem. Yeah. Flarf. What's Flarf? I'm just kidding. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What's Hang on a minute. <laughs> We're gonna do my other one. <sighs> what that exactly differentiate man from oh, an animal? Geez. What that differentiate man from an animal? 
I would say the brain is the main aspect which differentiates a man from an animal. Some say sixth sense, but I say it's mankind. An animal has legs, hands, eyes, even few senses like they can smell. They can sense the fears they attack other animals. They can feel happiness, they feel sadness. But they don't have a brain to think right and do right like mankind. <coughs> animals can do what man do. But man can do whatever animals do, because I don't think as they're built as a solid difference, they can eat. We can too. They can sleep. We can too. They can walk. We can too. They can love. We can too. They can't have mental ability to learn, write, think, or solve, etc. But nowadays, man seems to be mannerless instead of animals. I think man is going to be like wild animals. Yeah. Yeah. There is no difference. Sometimes there are only two things which only man can do: smile, think, bat. I mean, you are kidding me, right? Why don't you pull yourself? Why don't you pull a dog next to yourself? You might be able to find differences, or you may not. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle said, man is by nature a political animal. Ask, yeah. ask Manika Gandhi, and you would never ask such questions again. Good luck. Man walk on two legs. Animal walk with four legs. Is radiation even bad for animals? Are animals immune to the adverse effects of radiation? What does radiation actually do to animals? Nothing? Anything bad? Even if it does do something, nothing bad seems to come of it. Three eyes bad. Oh. Oh, we, just, we, oh. we just took a, uh, a detour here. You read some fragmented hey, poetry. Anyways, anyways, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna go straight to my eulogy to a depressed polar bear. <laughs> yes. You miss part of my last poem. It's in the future now. Yes. It's okay because my heart goes out to Gus, the famously neurotic polar bear in the Central Park Zoo. He used to swim endless laps around his pool. He dived to the bottom in a froth of bubbles, surged across, and then surfaced like a bear obsessed. <laughs> He backstroke to the other side and with great paws splashing, dived down to the bottom and circled around again. Some wags called him the bipolar bear, but most zoo goers sensed that he felt bored, pent up, out of his element, and depressed. Hugs from Murphy, hugs from Karen, hugs, Tish, hugs, B. Greetings, Chrissy, hugs, Von Tish, hugs, TDM, hugs, Sarsium, hugs from Denmark, Ingi. There's a very lonely polar bear at the Central Park Zoo. All right? Zookeepers are worried that the 25-year-old bear may spiral into depression after losing his mate. It wouldn't be the first time. In 1994, Gus began swimming endless laps and the zoo brought in a therapist to treat him with poi aversion therapy. The park zoo euthanized his 27-year-old polar bear, Gus. Veterinarians had discovered an inoperable tumor in his thyroid. He had beaten depression and then beaten the actuary there. Within the narrow category of the New York City polar bears, he stood alone. One summer, ten years ago, I had the privilege of working with them. Our anyways near him. Gus was a handsome polar. Gus, the depressed park, no, the depressed Central Park polar bear, dead at 27. Now. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. Now hang on a minute. 27. I'm the worst person here. Not so. I'm gonna read you one more thing here. That's a little thing I like to call five years. Just a little thing, guys. Five years. All right, listen up. All right. <laughs> this is kind of like autobiographical. Okay. Five years by Jesse. Yeah. Five years. Yeah. I get closer and closer to my 30s. The question is no longer where do I want to be in 10 years, but where am I going to be in five? Confident, self-assured, and capable. I'm going to be pissy again in another four to five years. Am I going to be ethical? Yeah. <coughs> do I cry at leather? No. Yeah. Straight porn or mad. Am I going to be upset? Yes, very much. Good. I imagine I will still have to spend about 90% of my time in my kitchen and homeschooling my fucking kids. <laughs> Am I going to be able to plan for my lungs transplant in the future? Am I going to be limited to iMovie? Am I going to be put on probation where I need to be drug tested every fucking day? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Am I going to relate to these people because it's definitely odd and different to have exotic animals as pets? If I lost the plot in life, or am I going to be the next Willie Nelson? <laughs> How in the heck am I going to be able to keep my head up, get and stay positive, and think of ways to make it to a better point in time? Some challenges. Am I going to be able to force the plug to be pulled? Am I going to be healed? <laughs> Am I going to be an experiment, a lab rat? Am I? <laughs> I am going to be so happy when I get my real body back. <laughs> I am going to be used to the feelings of falling in love with what I cannot have. So am I going to be okay? Am I going to be able to provide a good home with the space and time I have without my apartment? 
Am I going to be a drooling little doggy this time? Yes. Oh. Yeah. How likely am I going to be able to prog <laughs> progress in a firm like ACN who appear to recruit mainly from graduate pools? What am I going to be towing or carrying? Recreational vehicles, motorcycles, you know, ski jets, snowmobiles. Recreational trailers, and trailers fifth wheels. Yeah. <clears throat> who am I? Am I going to be alive? And if so, how am I going to be alive? Why should I? Am I going to be on the edge of my seat as Sam and talking sex doll or clinging to the side of the building perilously close to death? Close is underscore. <laughs> am I going to be a pathetic dumb shit addict and continue to waste my life? Or am I going to say no and try to stay sober? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hold on. Am I going to be the next prime minister? What am I going to be sending down in exchange for these beers? <laughs> Who am I going to be holding that hand with, walking to Sunday Bingo? Bingo. <laughs> yeah. Do Wangan dolls have an extremely high success rate to work without fail for sure? Will I even get to be in the Naked Brothers band? Will my money Wangan give me $500 in the mail tomorrow for sure? Do I even like the song's lip, Lips of an Angel? Does my money Wangan doll work for sure? <laughs> Is Rosalina going out with Nat Wolf? Would Melissa Moy have a chance with Nat Wolf? Can it take a month or two for my Wanga doll to work? <laughs> <laughs> am I going to have to communicate with the farmers? Who am I going to be crazy with? Am I going to be forced to eat people? How much fun am I going to be having? How am I going to be able to retire? Am I going to be called the old guard of Neftanga? Am I going to be fucked in the head indefinitely? Work it, working in a small <laughs> firm. Making love to Tom Hanks and cracking coconuts. Living out in San Francisco in the sunset, working at a computer organization. None of you come to this bottleneck in development. You're asking, am I going to be as fat as my mother? How am I going to be as good as I was last week? Am I going to be overbiked? Am I going to be lying on my deathbed, sit bolt up upright and scream? The slide! Yes, I understand the slide. The bastards used to slide for free. You know? <laughs> am I going to be in there with that wacko? Am I going to be wrestling, throwing superplexes and all that kind of stuff? Am I going to be taking over the payments on the car? Am I going to be able to bolt this thing in? Maybe swap some parts from my rear to make it fit? If I'm going this hard and fast, what am I going to be like if I'm close to home, if and when it happens? <laughs> <laughs> am I going to be attacked? We expect that people should be safe and the town has to assume some responsibility for that. Alright, comes the refrain. Are you ready? Am I going to be part of the 30% or the 70%? Am I going to be able to watch Mike's movie that he's supposed to be making? Am I going to be, am I going to be okay in stock injectors? What am I going to be doing with the car in my everyday life? Am I going to be okay to bring the gun, an AR-15, to Ohio and have an FFL transfer? Hell yeah. Listen, am I going to be thrown out because I haven't fit of the scale cockpit? Am I going to be paying 55 to 60 grand for a diesel pickup that gets poor fuel mileage? Yes. <laughs> Am I going to be holier than thou with a VIA processor? Am I going to be labeled somehow great? What noun am I going to have? Am I going to be the one to ask what the fuck is a gorilla glass? <laughs> <laughs> am I going to be a top contributor to the vegan veggie section? Am I going to be able to completely ignore walking? Am I going to be forced into a governmental plan? Am I going to be passed off as functional? Am I going to be able to understand when people talk to me if I don't know the language? Am I going to be taxed in my foreclosed home? Am I going to be down... Am I going to be downgraded to bronze if I signed up with a silver or gold promotional pack? Am I... Did you Hang on. Out here? Now we're missing the last page of almost all of my poems. Why are you doing that? Am I going to be an offload tray to my AI connected devices? Am I going to be a chef? Am I going to be called before a Senate committee and asked if I am subversive? Am I going to be able to sleep on my stomach? Am I going to be tracked down? Am I going to be seduced by the convenience? Am I going to be okay, people? Thanks for listening. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Yes! And boo! You're not subversive. Are you done? Are you fucking done now?
I'm fucking Oh, maybe we're out of it. We're done for it. I want to say, uh, man, nothing really. And the vibe's still scared of the bottom. We're all not okay. This is, this is my friend Rachel. I see you, Rachel. Nick. I work. Rachel. I also work with that one. Jesse Eels Adams. Good, I'll remember it. I'm so sorry. Right? <laughs> that was enough, right? <laughs> that was a good amount. Right there. That was a hefty amount. It was. Doug wanted to talk. Doug wanted to talk to me. He wanted to talk about uh, emotional things. He wanted to talk about. That's what I was doing, I feel like. Doug, Doug kind of accosted me. That was cool. Um, our next reader is not Doug. Our next reader is. A boy slash man. He wants to be a real boy. He's probably listened to more, like in combination, more Morrissey written and Zach Hill written songs in tandem than I think any other person that has been alive in the entire world. And I guess I salute him for it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Corey Roar! Yes, 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 yes! Hi. Um, I have probably seven poems. How long is one of those poems? We'll just have to see. Okay. It's like nine pages. <laughs> Poem one. Little manhole, I fall in. Madagascar, our phenomenon. Our collective bleeding gums, farm blood. The market, <laughs> big drip. An annoying announcement. What is the most eco-friendly way to kill yourself? <laughs> a little shack by the side of the road, a little highway, a little low way, impatient assholes. Is it theoretically possible to be impressed with more than to be impressed more than once in your life? I learned how to count. Unsolvable case, life blood. There's a fan running and a light on in an empty hole. Too busy for misery, unannounced, with enough time spent waiting. Incremental measurements and nitpicky details filed under hope for the worst prepare for the best, yet somehow surpassing expectations. How are you spending? How does anyone exist? The drowned out now. I'm taking matter. I'm rearranging it into shapes, into boxes. A perfect pattern. The perfect pattern. Spotlight on the crowd. Spotlight wandering. Pretty soon this will be resolved. This will be resolved. This will. Resolve. Tension. Release. Flexion. Expanding and contracting. Release. Resolve. What do you value? How do you value? Sowing by. Saying it out loud. Out loud release. Criterion. Release. Highway. Release. Clouds. Release. Rain. Release. Resolve. Release. Thunder. Resolve. Lightning. Release. Talking to an inanimate object. Hitting an inanimate object. Destruction of an innation. <laughs> How do I climb out of this 16 year old, 18 year old, 21 year old broken heart hole of spiraling miasma? Inspiration spiraling into control. A modern equivalent. When the food is poisoned, it's best not to eat. If I die tomorrow or tonight, I'll be okay. This is poem two, untitled. Well, sitting around with an expectant look, a nervous watching over irresponsible Titanic ships kind of look, a beachcomber looking for better metal detector, not really sure about wants, taking a bath in the light, coming through or from a window, vicariously heel towing across unmaintained wood, settling on an embargo for now on something in French I don't understand, removed entirely from this plane, ready to accept your glasses thrown at my face, toss petrified dog carcasses into your neighbor's lawn. <laughs> Look around at your arm hair and look around in boredom. Stop listening and think about your presence and purpose. Reminisce with yourself about things you have not done, people you have not met leering at you. Stare contemplatively at the endless recurrent cycle of over-under simulation. <laughs> Poem <laughs> four. Something I found that drove me insane. A bamp, a bampier, a bathical, abator, a backsile, a botsy, a belia, a bell mosque, ab abfarad, abhenry, applegate, ablings, ablins, abluent, ablush, abluted, abroach, abrosia, abstrict, abvolt, acervate, acervoli, acida, acimid, acetin, acenial, acholia, acicula. 
Acidemia, Aciduria, Acinar, Acmatic, Acmic, Acnode, Acoc, Acold, Acontic, Aquest, Acrodunt, Acrogen, Acrosome, Acrotic, Acquate, Acuate, Adamsite, <laughs> Addressed, Adeem, Addict, Adose, Adunk, Adust, Adinamia, A, Aquarin, <laughs> Aerosat, Arugo, Af, Aftmos, Aftosas, Ag, Agalon, Agalon, Agamos, Agape, Agapai, Agapaic, Agatis, Agatoid, Agaze, Agings, Agelong, Agendums, Agenis, Agenetic, Agatic, Agar, Agars, Agnosias, Agon, Agonal, Agaudi, Agraph, Agrapha, Agravic, Agrapina, Aguilike, Agweed, Achu. <laughs> A hemus, a hold, a horse, a hole, ablins, aidful, aidman, aglet, aikidos, aimful, aimfully, ain, aim cell, air check, air coach, airs, air hole, air like, airn, air post, airscape, air shed, airt, air word, airwise, aids, aver, agi, ajiva, achelis, akini, alay, alamo, alamodes, a land, a lang, a lanin, a lands, a lance, a lanel, a larum, Alates, Alation, Albada, Albidoz, Aldecor, Albinal, Albidic, Albizias, Alcade, Alec, Aleph, Aligars, Alan Khan, Alarons, Alexians, Alexin, Alexine, Alfaki, Algors, Algums, Alides, Aladad, Alienor, Alienism, Aliene, Aleph, Aliner, Alapids, Alist, Aliundi, Alia, Alios, Aliot, Alkaline, Alkalis, Alkaline, Alkoxide, <laughs> Alkoxy, Al Alanite, Alise, Allotype, Aloxins, Alilis, Alma, Almemar, Almener, Almsman, Almus, Almud, Almug, Alnicose, Alodia, Alodium, Aloetic, Aloin, Alo, Alphosis, Alphil, Alpine, Alturant, almost, Altois, Alumin, Amanitin, Amarna, Amatols, Ambari, Ambaris, Ambir, Amberries, Amberina, Amboina, Amboina, Ambroid, Amsais, Amiban, Amibine, Amir, Amurate, Almicorn, Ament, Amerser, Amisace, Amida, Amidase, Amidin, Amidine, Amidol, Amidone, Amids, Aminic, Aminity, Amirate, Amitrol, Amino, Amosite, Amonify, Amono, Amnic, Amiban, Amibian, Amox, Amort, Amortize, Amosites, Emotion, Amphioxy, Ampular, Amrita, Amrak, Amu, Amux, Amusa, Ameline, Amilic, Amilogen, Amyloids, Amalung, Anableps, Anapaeus, Anatasis, Anatoxin, Anchusin, Ancilla, Anconal, Anconeal, Anes, Anestri, Anestrus, Anathol, Anathol, Anathols, Anarin, Anga, Angacock, Angari, Angas, Angolet, Angling, Angerly, Anginal, Anginus, Anglepod, Anglis, Anility, Anils, Animilic, Animatter, Animus, Anoa, Anodali. Should I keep going? Yes. Aerosmith. Anodinic, Analyte, Anaposia, Anopia, Anorexy, Anam Anosmias, Anovular, Anoxemia, Anoxemic, Anoxius, Anse, Antbear, Antitype, Antheral, Antherid, Anthesis, Anthoid, Antiar, Antiarin, <laughs> Anticar, Antic, Anticold, Anticult, Antidora, Antiflu, Antiking, Antileak, Antileft, Antimole, Antimere, Antings, Antinuke, Antipill, Antipole, Antiporn, Antipeic, Antirape, Antisag, Antiship, Antismut, Antisnob, Antiwear, Ant Lion, Antra, Antwaros, Antrum, Antrums, Anurasis, Anuresis, and a patetic appetites. Apatali, Aphagia, Aphilate, yes. Aphotic, Apiculi, Apimania, Apiology, Aplite, Apnoic, Apoapsis, Apocarp, Apocarpi, Apocopic, 
Apod, Apogami, Apogean, Apogeic, Apolog, Apostasy, Apothes, Apol, Apirace, Apiretic, Aque, Aquarial, Aquitone, Acris, Acris, ah, Aerosius, Aeroba, Arb, Arbalist, Arbalist, Arbor, Arbusal, Arbute, Arbutean, Arcanums, Archase, Arkine, Arkings, Arciform, Art, Arcuated, Arcus, Ardev, Ardor, Arie, Arieli, Araic, Aronite, Arth, Argol, Argentic, Argentum, Arginas, Armsful, Arnado, Aroint, Arointed, Arsino, Arsis, Arshin, Arsino, Arsonis, Arugula, Aruspex, Arvo, Arrhythmia, Arrhythmic, Acerum, Assi, Acidium, Ascocarp, Ashfall, Ashing, Ashler, Ashlerd, Ashless, Ashman, Ashplant, as kisses, askings, a scoy, a sparkle, aspirate, asphyxi, aspices, aspish, asrama, aslike, asswage, asswage, astony, astigmia, astimus, astonished, astony, a strict, aslia, a tabal, atagon, atamasco, a taf, atavic, a technic, a temua. Athanasi, Athodis, Athodisis, Athodidis, Atlatl, Atopes, Atresias, Atrip, Atestor, Atisist, Atritited, Atween, Arubrieta, Akubaz, Adad, Odding, Alder, Olic, Antlier, Antlike, Arated, Ariole, Auricula, Auriform, Aris, Aurists, Osform, Ospex, Azubo, Autocoy, Autogeny, Autoing, Oxeses, Oxetic, Oxinic, Avilans, Avenes, Avenses, Avgases, Avianize, Avieris, Avicular, Avodire, Avodires, Avoset, Avoucher, Awa, Awaiter, a weary, a weather, a wee, a way, all this, all lord, all miss, all lips, awny, axel, axman, oxalar, axize, axite, axonic, axeed, aen, a's, are you verda, azan, azotize, azotize, azotizes. Jesus. Home six. What? Five for functions. What's the name of that poem again? Poem 4. It was called, uh... It was like, This Pissed Me Off or something. Something that drove well, me I, insane. Something I found that drove me insane, yeah. Poem 6. Live reflection while writing poem 4. I found a poem and I fell in. Why am I doing this? Clued into this pattern of words. Obsessing over this. Deciding what is or isn't real. So focused. Thinking roughly about Zen. Something I don't know much about other than how other people use slash apply the word slash idea. How are these words? How is this communication? Why does anyone ever really talk? This is exhausting. I know I'll be sad when this is over. Things keep cropping up. Remove everything identifiable. Remove everything identifiable again. A third time. A fourth. I'm going insane. Every time I return, more is marked that wasn't so before. I'm pouring over this, and it's pouring over me. Machines can't fail, so it must be me. Every deletion is a release. Some words seem to come back to life. I feel an affinity for words I have never seen before. I can't delete them, they are part of me now. I have to pull myself away. What happens when everything we rely on fails? When the system is flawed? When you can't trust yourself, falling into a hole? I'm picking splinters from a tree, trying to build the perfect house. I could be useful, but that hardly seems possible. I've left road markers so I don't get lost, breadcrumbs so I don't get eaten. Every time the list gets smaller, but I'm still getting nowhere. Is time changing, or am I? Is just time changing, or am I? Subconsciously, I tried to quit. What does it matter? Here I've been lazy this whole time. Three hours pass in the blink of an eye. I'm scrolling up and down endlessly in the hopes that something will change. I've noticed patterns that just aren't there. I guess what words will become obsolete. If I keep doing this, I will eventually delete. This is impossible. I'm impossible. I don't trust the machine. It's making up as it goes along. The slamming of a door scared me. I've fallen in. My eyes are dusted. The door slamming is harsh. Maddening. I'm interrupted and the spell's broken, so I can't get up and return to it. I wish this was dead, and just like that it is.
Yeah! Uh, I got, I got a few more poems. Um, a collection I'm working on, but I'm only going to read a few of them. Yeah, okay. Punch, <laughs> yes. slide, tap, hashtag bing. Long wire forming machines line up to the optic to the spare hole, the activity hole. The reamer provides a smooth bowl jeweler. Use your small diameter against the left side. Resting in the dovetail there in heat and cold, rain and snow. Performing his routine lubrication, operations being performed in the dye. And dye like auto silver pistol rescue. Very specific timing on this minute until it can chill out. Slow dilution simply lift the shaft. Slide the piece into position. Shaft the rest with a small mallet. As the right hand has previously done, remove the gib. Clean up the inside face. Use personalized black metal grate for Kent Williams spawn. The controls are simple. Fire missiles and destroy error aid. Feature, benefits, excellent balance. Look into chamber. Make sure there's not a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Dark colors <laughs> and lighter tones on top. Easy to die between cutter into die hole. Bolster plate, throat depth release, hundred hand slap, rapidly charge, after, get a devil. Oh, you mean it wouldn't even slide out normally? It wouldn't hurt to knock it out if needed. I already did try and it did leave a dent, although it ruined the twiddling roll gestures. <laughs> Squash, press, trample, hashtag sappho. Squeeze copyright. Creators and partners overrun by developer scorn. You can. Spread out use as a footstool or shut down play cavity in a vacuum. Great magic. Schwarzenegger is another word for treacherous. Giant sequoias. Hosting soldering fields of elephants picking fruit. Death anxiety. Dancing baby video battle back in court held accountable for heavy handed tactics. Crop protection. Tomorrow with our shoes made of giant ebony butternut Hugh Grant. Family dog. Ceiling Creature deserves federal television judge subdued Dionysus' cheat. <laughs> Flip Flop, quizzing a two-year-old. Three limp shades of Tomatillo is all burdened with regret. <laughs> Unjust criticism. As vice president of injury trauma, tell her I'm sorry, he said. <laughs> Dog food. Seeding my pinky finger just added a small lover flowered surface. Deathly roar. That's funny. Shin amok, use a privateer sweep, ricked neck for obvious Byron reasons. Hi Bohemia, 375 hens, immediately network guardian analogy liable to breach policy. Giant cables, power hungry big government zealots as dangerous as how pretentious it is to be a boy. Innocent ambition, hoping long hours full weight butt crushing germinate intercepted celebrity voicemails. Watered animals. There's nothing better than seeing an elated dog playing on the beach. <laughs> Extinguished stakes. Get personal with customers at the tender age of violating basic rights to protect small investors. Oh, Albuquerque. Accused prostitutes and the homeless for decades having sex with a horse trying to make it pregnant with a horse man. <laughs> Squish, peel, nettle. Hashtag says nam. Methane, forlorn, temerity, jackal, viscid, pointer, former, timeout, sailing, distrust, estrogen, deplete, malady, er, leader. Oh look, squirrel. <laughs> Echo, boom, thunder. Hashtag business. Hashtag get it. Hashtag global spec. Hashtag, hashtag Thomas Net. <laughs> Are you qualified for the biggest friction reducing lubricants in a hundred years? <laughs> Established remarkable coincidence to supreme inception. We form the prominent bamboo repletion and lead. Supplier of optimum machines and equipment to block plants, hard work, and determination. The empire has gained expertise in excellent solutions and amp instrum. Prominence over the head. Elimination of rubberized, scratch resistant conversation. What's going on around you works stuff into USB range of voice. Natural, acoustically tuned, professional controls oil spill containment. Machining ocean, move, ocean movement, safely light, robust config. High rise telescoping, rugged deployment. Hang as you want from a sturdy beam. <laughs> Absorbance. Fuck that story. Absorbance surplus allow items to be inspected with careful extension swag. Easy retraction cylinder for rocks. The strong articulation from the shore or platform shackle. Together, attached, superior engineering available without the jib. Power options and bright lights. 
180 degree chemical offers complete someone else's problem fabrics. Floats an image constructed just for plastics. Non-absorbent barriers, city containment. Schwing, your search ends here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like sitting there and I'm like, <laughs> I think I'm enjoying this. Um, that's it. We don't have any more people that are reading here. Um, and I guess, thank you for coming out and supporting really fucked up shit. <laughs> Nathan Staplegun and Corey Rohr. Thank you all for coming very much.